Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Accounting System tutorial, I'll talk about foreign currency transaction. Let's go to SQL. You will need this module when you have exportations to your foreign currency customer in foreign country or you import from overseas where your supplier will charge you in foreign currency. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to Tools, Maintain, Currency. You can create different currency over here. Example, let's create a new currency called RMB, RMB and it's Chinese Yuan. So what is the rate? Example is maybe 0 0.8 or 0 0.6, something like that. Save it. If you want to edit the rate, you can do it over here where you maintain the currency or you can actually edit the rate during transactions. So let's go to customer, maintain customer. Over here you can see that you can have different currency customer in this listing. Let's create a customer called Vision and the price and it is using which currency? Let's say US dollar. Save it, browse, and you have your vision and the price using US dollar and the color you maintain under maintain currency. The same things apply to supplier, maintain supplier. You can maintain the supplier and the currency also change over the left hand side also. So let's do a transactions. Go to purchase example. Let's do a purchase invoice. New, select the supplier. And you can see the exchange rate will appear over here. Let's say we select one item. And we put it 100. Let's put that 4. You can see that for this item, when I put the unit price 100, this 100 is actually US dollar 100 because this, this supplier is under US dollar. So 100 multiplied by the rate 4, so you get the local net total is 400. Save it. Now, the actual usage of the foreign currency is not just for transaction purpose but to automatically calculate the exchange gain and loss. So let's go to supplier, supplier payment, new, select the supplier and then it depends whether you have foreign, at once foreign currency module or not. We have two levels of foreign currency. The first level is normal foreign currency where you can maintain customer supplier in foreign currency and do the transaction of payment in foreign currency. But if you have foreign currency bank account in Malaysia, then you need to have the at once foreign currency module. We'll discuss this in the future. So let's say you don't have meaning you only have Ringgit Malaysia bank account. So meaning that now you will TT over to your foreign supplier. So in your TT slip, you will have something like how much you pay in Ringgit Malaysia. Let's say you only pay 300 for this bill. Then the system will automatically calculate the rate. This rate will be exactly same as what you have in your TT slip. So let me save it. Then this screen will pop up. It will actually tell you whether you have a shame gain or loss in these transactions. Obviously, there is an exchange gain of 100. Why 100? If you still remember, the original invoice is at the rate of 4. That means you purchasing, suppose you need to pay 400 ringgit Malaysia. But because of the exchange rate now is 3, you only need to pay 300. That means there is 100 exchange gain. But you do not need to worry about all this 
the system will automatically calculate for you. What you need to do is just click on OK. Done. Let's try one more time for customer side. So let's say we do an invoice for a foreign customer. Example, Vision Enterprise, the new customer. Let's change this item. And this time, let's say we put 200. And the rate, we also put 4. So, oh, sorry, because of SST, so I should take the SST stuff. I'm selling to this customer for one unit of this item at 200 US dollar. 200 multiplied by 4 equal to 800 Ringgit Malaysia. Save it. Done. Then, when the customer make payment to us, normally it will be at another day. So the exchange rate will be different. So let's say, we select the customer, then how much they pay you in Ringgit Malaysia. Maybe they pay you in US dollar, but because you only have Ringgit Malaysia account, so the system, your bank will actually convert back to Ringgit Malaysia. And let's say they pay you 1,000. And now copy this one. And you can see that the system will automatically calculate the rate. And let's save it. Same thing happened. The system will actually tell you whether you have exchange gain or loss for this transaction or loss. Okay, done. So finish. So let's look at your lecture. Let's look at today's transaction. And look at few accounts. If I'm not mistaken, the sales account that I'm using is 500-2000 and exchange gain or loss in a foreign exchange. Apply. So you will see that this is the sales and this is the exchange gain for this transaction. So you can see that the system will automatically take care of the exchange gain loss in the SQL accounting system. You do not need to worry how to do the double entry and stuff like that. The system have do it for you. So basically this is the idea of how you do foreign currency transaction in SQL accounting system. So thank you for watching. Once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.